The new profile tools in Enroun also work well with fills, and so if I select these contours and get into the hatch fill, I can I can add a quarter inch tool for the fill tool, and then when I select the profile tool, it recognizes that it wants to be a clean tool, and so I give it give it depth, and it creates the the fill just like you would expect it to do with the proper offsets and everything. So if I if I simulate this. Let's look at, at kind of the effect that I get here. And again, the nice thing is being able to simulate that tool and getting an accurate representation of what the, the finished piece is going to look like. I have animation turned on just so we kind of get a, get an idea of what it's doing here. Okay, so so once I create the, the fill, then you get results that are probably pretty familiar but one of the things that we've noticed over the years of course or that other other users have noticed is that the inside corners are shaped are rounded based on the shape of the tool and so so even the outside corners are rounded as the toolpath goes around the corner and so that's always something that 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 from a from a you know, a, a end customer standpoint is sort of a tip off that this this piece and and maybe a cabinet door or something like that was cut on a CNC machine, and has sort of been seen as a limitation of using shaping tools on say MDF doors to to create this type of a piece, and and it's not a huge problem. It's aesthetically it's not bad. It's just an indication that that's how that door was created or how that piece was created. And so we spent some time thinking about how we might be able to modify that and, and give it more of a of a look with the square inside corners and square outside corners on the on the fill like this so that it gives it maybe more of a look that it was created uh, in traditional woodworking methods. So a five piece door, say, for example. And so it's not a simple problem to solve, but but we know the shape of the tool and we know kind of what needs to happen in the corners. And so if I come in here and whoops, I'm going to I'm going to delete these tool paths and select this again. Now when I get into this fill, I've got the fill tool, I've got a clean tool. If I come in and select another tool and route recognizes that that wants to be a fine tool and in this case I'm using a small diameter um, ball in mill and I'm going to come in and change the overlap give it a little bit more overlap and when I click OK what in route does is it recognizes that that combination a fill a profile tool as a clean tool and then another tool as the fine tool uh, changes the way the fill wants to be created and it and what it does is it uses that fine tool uh, in the corners to accomplish what it is we were trying to accomplish and if we zoom in here you can see that the shape of the fine has changed to kind of fill the whole corner and then the overlap parameters that I used were, were used. So let's look at this in the perspective view. And what Enroute has done is it has created a relief that is in the shape of the corner using the profile of the tool. So it uses the profile of the tool and then creates a representative surface of that square inside corner and then applies the ball in tool to that surface in order to emulate that square inside corner. And it automatically finds the corners where that's appropriate. So similar to the way that a fine tool works, a traditional fine tool. So it has found all of these corners and automatically created that and and remember all I needed to do I didn't have to really tell and route anything when I created the toolpaths all I needed to do was to add that fine tool in 
and it automatically made the decision to create it as a fine tool and then to create those what we call the corner fine tool paths which define that so let's simulate that and see what that looks like so I'm going to select that contour and do the same thing that we did before So there's the, the profile tool, the fill tool. Let me slow it down just a tiny bit. And then we have the, the corner fine tool. So you see them coming in and squaring up the corners in each of the corners. So, so just by selecting that tool along with our profile tool, we didn't have to do anything else. And the other thing that you notice is the outside corners have also been squared up too. So the shape of the toolpath changed automatically with that corner fine. And now we have outside square corners. We have inside square corners. And the, the, the overall aesthetic of the, of the finished piece has been changed pretty significantly. Now it has much more of a, a five piece door look to it automatically, it has much more of a kind of a traditional woodworking shape to things. And from the user standpoint, all that was necessary was to select that in that corner fine tool that he wanted to use that I wanted to use when I, when I created that. So uh, it's a pretty, Pretty cool addition to to the fill tool and and it works with both hatch fill and island fill automatically uh, just select the fill tool the profile tool that you're going to use as the clean tool and then the the tool that you're going to use as the fine tool and it can be either a ball in tool or an in mill tool and in route will recognize that as the fine tool uh, in in some of the testing that we've done uh, it's it's a little debatable which which tool gives the better the better finished surface uh, the ball in tool does better on uh, rounded surfaces the in mill tool does better when there's vertical sides and that sort of thing and so so my opinion is the ball in tool works better but but it's a little bit debatable so that's something users will be able to experiment with and find the right combination but it's a it's a nice sort of automatic cleanup thing that that the fill tool will do automatically and and so it's a fun addition